Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. Welcome to 2023. And today you join us in the Rich Reviews garage. Well, why are we here? Because today we're gonna to talk about all things tires. So as I mentioned, we're in the garage today. It's a bit chilly here. As you can see, this is my relative humidity gauge and this is the temperature currently around eight and a half degrees. So not too warm. So we're gonna try and get it through this as quick as we can. Notwithstanding, we've got a lot of information to get through, a lot of information to impart. So what I wanna to talk to you about? I'm going to, today I'm gonna to talk to you about tires and yes, there will be a lending towards the 458 Spider, but you can use this information as generic across all different brands and all different makes obviously of tires um, to a degree. I'm gonna to talk to you about how to read the information on tires, so the tire sizing, width, etc., etc., and the different speed rating on tires. I'm gonna to talk to you about which tire sizes specifically you should use for the 458. So that's gonna be obviously pertinent directly to the 458. Um, should you use oversized tires and when you should use oversized tires for the 458. I'm also gonna be talking to you about the different rating of tires. So um, for example, Porsche rating and Ferrari rating, you've got N and N K, K rated tires specifically or relatively there. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some insight on where you can buy some very good value K rated tires for the 458 Spider. So keep watching that information to come. You don't wanna miss that. So with regards to the different brands that provided tires for the Ferrari 458, you have Pirelli P0, Bridgestone Potenza, and Michelin Pilot Sport. Most people think that the 458 was provided OEM with only Pirelli P0s, but well, that's not the case. My car did actually come with Pirelli P0s, and it's currently still got the original Pirelli P0s on here. So that means that these original Pirelli P0s, because it's a 2015 car, are what, seven years old, seven, eight years old. So really they need to be changed and hence why I've got the new tires here. We'll go into which tires I'm gonna replace them to in a minute and where you can get these tires at a great price later on in the video. A lot of people don't understand how to read the markings on tires. I'm not gonna reference the actual points down here. I'm not gonna reference the markings specifically around the tires because it's black. You're not gonna be able to see it very well. And I'm very fortunate because these are brand new tires. I've got all the information on here. The only information that isn't on here is the date rating. And I'll go into that. It's quite easy to, to point that out. So I'll have to reference the date rating specifically on the tire itself. So what does the information that's displayed on tires actually mean? The actual sizing information. If we look here, we can see we've got 245 forward slash 35Z R20. And then in brackets, we've got 95Y. Now the 245 is the actual width of the tire. So that's obviously this part, the width of the tire. 35 is the aspect ratio of the tire with respect to the width of the tire. So that's 35% of the 245. 20 is the diameter of the tire relative, relevant to the diameter of the wheel. And 95Y, Y is the speed rating for the tire. Now, Y is the highest speed rating that I could find. And I believe that is the highest speed rating, which isn't surprising because they're supercars. And that rates to a maximum speed of 186 miles per hour. Now, sizing, which tire sizes did you use? Now you think, well, always go OEM. And in general, that's correct. I would definitely agree with that. You should always go OEM sizing for the tires. Now, with regards to the 458, the OEM sizing is actually 235 for the fronts. This is a front tire, 235, 35, 20. So it should be 235. And you can see here, I've bought 245s for my front. By the way, for the rears, it's 295. And that's standard on the rears, OEM. So why have I gone 245s? Because it's the width, because the first number is the width of the tire, remember? So this is this distance. It means that you're gonna have a wider tire. It fills out the wheel arches a bit better, but that's obviously just cosmetic. But what it means is that you're gonna have a wider tire, and that means better traction because you're gonna have more tread on the asphalt. So you're gonna have a, a more tread, more traction on the actual asphalt, which is obviously a good thing. But you have to be very careful. If you go too, if you change too much and deviate too much from OEM sizing, um, especially when you're talking about in relation from the fronts and the rears, you've got to be very careful because it affects both the ABS and the traction control systems. 
So as long as you're not too much of a separation between the percentage deviation between the front tires and the rear tires, you're okay. And I believe the OEM deviation between the fronts and the rears on a 458 are around six, six and a half percent. So as long as you're within that region, which the 245 is, then you're fine. And I've actually been recommended to use 245s on the front of my tyres by um, a, a Ferrari mechanic, by a Ferrari engineer. So um, they actually, I, I asked that question and they said yes, it's very common for 245s to be used on the front of the 458. And they're actually easier to attain as well because the K1 Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss have been an absolute nightmare to get hold of because of the manufacturing issue that we have. Also, we have to look at and reference the date information on tyres. Now this is vitally important. Why is it important? well because tyres degrade over time. They're a rubber compound and they will degrade over time. Now the amount they degrade will be, will be relevant to how old they are and how often they've been in the sun. You'll know very easily when a tyre is degraded and when it's really bad because you'll get cracking across the tyre, so fracturing of the rubber across the tyre. Um, but when a tyre is quite old, like my tyres are, they're seven years old, seven, seven and a half years old on this 458, you can't tell because the tires have been kept in really good condition. This car has been stalled all, all the time during winter. It hasn't been kept outside for a long time in the sun. So the tires look in very good condition, but still the compound will degrade over time. The compound won't be as soft and it won't be as, as agile on, on, the, on the asphalt surface. So you have to remember that it is important that you change tires after a certain period of time. There's a lot of different stories, a lot of different information with regards to when you should change the tires, but in general, it's perceived to be around six years. When the tires are six years old, you should replace them. Now, there's still a good amount of depth for my 458 Spider tires, but I am gonna replace them, hence why I've got the new tires here. Now, perceivably, one of the most important pieces of information written on the tire is the date information, in effect, a date stamp. Why is, that, why is that important? Well, it's important because you should only use tires that are within a certain age rating, within a certain age range. It's not good to use supercars on tires, for example, over around six years of age. Now, my car is still running its original P0s. This car was manufactured in 2015. So those tires are around seven, seven and a half years old. That's why I've got a new set of tires because my P0s aren't worn out yet. They are worn a fair bit. The mod ball pretty much put quite a bit of wear into them with an additional thousand miles and the sort of driving that we were performing. Check the mod ball rally content below. You shouldn't really be using tires over the age of around six years old on supercars. And I would say even a little bit earlier than that, if, if you can really you know, stomach changing the tires earlier. You think that people would be changing their tires a lot earlier. Um, because this is the contact point to the road. This is what is on the, on, this, is the this is the medium um, that interfaces between the car and the asphalt. So this is vitally important to get this right. So how do you know what age your tires are? You go by the date stamp on the tire. Now, what does this information mean? Well, you've got four digits. Now the first two digits relate to the week that the tire was manufactured in, the, in a given year. And the second two digits relate to the actual year the tire was manufactured. So here you can see it says 10, 22. So that means the 10th week in the year 2022. So that means that this tire was manufactured around March of 2022. And that's pretty good because I bought the tires not long after that. So that means that these tires were manufactured pretty soon to, when, to my purchase date. And you can't get much better than that because you hear some real horror stories of people purchasing tires online and the tires are already around three years old. So they've come from old stock, which isn't great because that really eats in to the duration that you can um, keep those tires for because obviously three years old already, you've only perceivably got another three years old um, that you can have those tires on your car. And you'd think, well, okay, why are we talking about age, ages on tires? It, surely it doesn't really matter. Normally you'd be wearing tires out on an annual basis anyway. Well, the reason being is because supercars don't get driven very often. So obviously the cars are doing a lot less mileage, so the tires will last a lot longer. So it's very common for supercars to have their original tires on there, seven, eight, nine, even 10 years old tires on some of these supercars. That isn't a good situation to be in. You can imagine if you're pushing quite hard on the car, if you're doing something like um, the gumball rally, something like that, and you're pushing really, really hard and you're coming into a corner, you've over-egged it a little bit, you're coming into a corner maybe a bit faster than you expected, you turn the wheel, 
and you're not going to get the traction perceivably so you've got to be very careful of that you've got to make sure that the tires aren't too old for the car so if you if you haven't checked the age on your tires i would really 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 recommend that you go you go across to your car and you check the date stamp on your tires to make sure that they're too, not too old now aging can show in different ways on a tire obviously um, with regards to the compound the compound will age over time anyway so you're not going to know that you're going to know by the actual types of grip you're getting with the car if the cars if the tires been out if the car and of course the tires have been out in the sun for a long time then what you might get is a lot of cracking across the tire now that shows aging across the tire very easily so if you've got cracking across your tire those tires are pretty goddamn old get them replaced because they're not much cop anymore they're not any use what does it all mean with these different types of brands? Why should you change brands? Um, what, what's the good or bad thing about them? Um, different brands of tires have different perceptions in the marketplace and perform differently. Bridgestones on a Porsche, for example, are always known to be pretty good. So I always use Bridgestone S02s on my 993S. So they were perceived to be a hard wearing tire, but also to be good, provide good grip on the roads as well. But that varies across different, different manufacturers of cars. With regards to uh, the Ferraris, and specifically the Ferrari 458, P0s were perceived to be pretty good all round tire, but, and a lot of people you, who are watching this who have 458s will realize that Michelin Pilot Sport 4S is a really the tire to get for a 458. Now I haven't actually used Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on my 458, but that's what these are. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So I've got a brand new set to go on. Now I've heard great things about Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Um, hopefully I'll find out pretty soon. And that's what I'm gonna be moving across to. One of the other things that you'll hear about quite a bit as well is the rating of tires. So you'll hear about N rating, K rating with regards to Ferrari. What does all that mean? Well, what it relates to is that the manufacturers have designed those particular types of tires specifically for that manufacturer's cars. So with regards to Porsche, you get N-rated tires relevant to Porsche. So those types of tires have been specifically designed for Porsche, for Porsche manufactured cars. What does it mean now? It's, it's the different tread patterns and the different types of compound of that tire that are designed specifically and manufactured specifically for that manufacturer of car. So for K-rated tires, K is the rating by the way for Ferrari, they rate them to different, to different models of the cars. Um, but in general, you can use pretty much across the board the K1 rated tires for the 458 and for generally other, other cars as well. For example, specifically for the 296, the K1 rated Michelin Pilot Sport 4S has been aligned with the 296 and also the Cup 2R K2 rated tire has been defined for the 296 as well. With regards to Porsche, Porsche used the N rating with a with a, a letter after it, and the, you'd have a different iteration of that rating. So you had N0, N1, N2, etc. as you go down the line. So that's the newer version of the rated tire for Porsche. And I believe Ferrari do a similar thing, um, but I can't guarantee that because there doesn't seem to be that much information about the different K, the different K1, 2, 3, etc. down the line. But I have heard of K1, K2, K3. Um, rating of tyres for Ferrari. With regards to the 458, K1 is the rating that I would recommend. You don't have to use rated tyres, but it's better if you do. And Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's are the tyre rate, are the, and Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, which is what these are, is the tyres that I would recommend for the 458. I haven't used them yet, as I said, but I will be using these and will be changing across to the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So I teased you a little bit earlier on in the video with regards to where you can get these tires for great prices and that's the K1 rated Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. These are perceived to be the gold standard for the 458. They're a very good overall tire. That means they're good in the wet and they're good in the dry. If by the way, that's not relating to track use, although you can use these tires on track as you can with the P0s, um, and they're very good for track use, but really you should be going over to Michelin Cup 2s really. If, you, if you're going to over to track use, then Michelin Cup 2s or even Michelin Cup 2Rs really. They're the real high-end track, track tire, but they're really specifically a track tire. They're not really a road tire. And Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss are great overall tires. So where did I buy these from? Camskill. I got them from Camskill online. Now, Camskill website 
isn't the greatest. I had a nightmare trying to navigate across it and I'm a techie, so <laughs> it, was a, it was a problem even for me. What I did was I emailed CamSkill and I asked them specifically, do you have these Michelin Pilots Sport 4S's K1 rated in these sizes? They came back to me with specific links and I will now provide that to you in the description below. So check the description below, you'll see links to the actual fronts and rears of the CamSkill 245s and 295 tires that I've procured. Now, I'm not recommending that you should go oversize on tires. Um, so that's the caveat. Make sure that you, you don't read into this that I'm telling you to go for 245s. It's something that I'm doing. It provides better traction um, and it shouldn't bugger up the APS, the ABS and the traction control. But um, I would always recommend going OEM. So look across CamSkill for the OEM tires. I haven't checked for 235s lately, but I would perceive that the 235s are on there as well. But you're looking for the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's K1 rated tires. And I'll put the links in the description below for the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's 245 fronts and 295's backs. But as I say, I would recommend going OEM. I'm not recommending you to do 245's. I've made that decision. So we're gonna close out the video now. It's getting pretty cold in here. We're now up to the heady heights of 8.1 degrees. So the pains we go through to bring you these videos, eh guys? Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, very important to us. And if you're not subscribed, please thinking about subscribing. It's free to do so, it doesn't cost you anything and you can unsubscribe at any time. Currently we've got over 90% of our viewers are non-subscribers. So please guys, come on, click that button. We're reviewing loads of different heterogeneous cars this year. We've already got a schedule built up, um, loads of really special supercars in there as well. So we're really moving the channel forward this year. Make sure that you're subscribed and click that notification bell so that you receive notifications of all our new videos as they drop. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Happy New Year and we'll see you in the next video.